I took this guy to Scotland and surprisingly won the whole event. This is Grab Crab version 4. Its aim, like the previous three versions, was to do some, some yeeting and suplexing. It barely worked until the night before. It finally did the thing, but it won the event it was competing at. That was not my expectation going in, but um, let's talk about how that happened. So I've not done one of these since... July 2021. Let's have a quick recap of my beta weights trying to do some sort of yeeting and suplexing. So far, the best option I'd had is IKEA's mini drills. Earlier this year, Henry Strang had been running a crazy lifter horizontal bot called Bon 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 Bon. It had a crazy powerful motor on it. He sent me one of these Strang boxes and I jerry-rigged it into last versions just to sort of test out the power. That's one and a half kilograms with a load of weights in it. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed because I've not got... Uh... <laughs> and boy did it seem spicy. Version 3 had a really good run last year facing lots of spinners but at the end of the event the chassis had been mashed into a pulp and I wanted to fix some of those problems. First of all, I decided to go on Lego tires. I'd ran these on Lobster earlier this year and I had a really good time with those. Some 3D printed pulleys. I made a HDPE chassis as I normally do, which is mostly 10 mil and five mil HDP. Um, I was running Repeat Max on the drive with AM32 ESCs. These are all available at the BBB store. Shameless plug, link down below. I attached on the wheels. They work together with some, some polyurethane belts and I did a little drive test. I then started to install the Strang box, the crazy gearbox, into place, and this is where I started to uh, get a little nervous. Uh, I need to do something else to harness the power of this crazy gearbox. So I had a chat with uh, Jack, who runs lots of gears in the Chili Daddy. So inspired by him, I decided to run double helical gears. They do this nice thing where they sort of align into themselves. Um, so I printed out some of those and did a first test. <laughs> Wow, the power was amazing, but damn, did it rip those teeth uh, apart. So test two was to print it in full uh, infill to see if it's, it would hold up, and I lowered the power of the motor. And it held up for a bit longer, but eventually the teeth started to go. Try some TPU, see if that could act like kind of like a clutch, um, but it instantly bent out of place, so that was no good. Then got gears printed out of Toolman 910. It did a pretty quick work of shredding them. We're now getting to a few nights before the event. Gareth, um, one of the BBB guys, said, make the gears thicker, and so he printed thicker gears in ABS. I didn't destroy them in the first few tests. That was good enough. I started to pack up, getting ready to go. I've been talking with Gareth about HDPE gears and he'd been running those on Tossa for quite a while. The day of the flight to Edinburgh, I quickly CNC'd some higher mod gears out of HDPE, did a test, uh, while it face planted. It didn't explode this time, so there was more hope for this. So I decided to send this to Edinburgh. You get three fights and the highest scoring bots go into the top 16. My first fight, was against the incredible Fisher Slice 2, which is an internal combustion engine vert, which is hilarious and amazing. I don't know if you can see that on stream, but the Crab Crab taking his position there. Lots of exhaust fumes coming out. Brim, brim. 
That is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to be able to see into the arena. <laughs> We've got an extractor fan. I, we can see on the we can see the camera at least, but from the commentator's perspective, there's just fog. <laughs> okay, we're Robot ready. Is. Stand by. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. It's raring to go. And here we go. Right, here we Size. go. Grab cup moving in. Whoa! Throwing bitter slice on his back. Grab crab. Grab, grab crab, crab taking phone. no prisoners. No one to answer. <laughs> Looks like bitter slice might be immobilized. But grab crab is not finished yet. Oh, it's it all is now. over. So I could barely see what was happening in the arena. But those first three throws gave me lots of encouragement for the robot. Alice didn't quite get the chance to do the thing with this robot yet, but I, th I really hope she continues with it because it's crazy. The next fight was against the crazy Kiwi Drive Hammersaw, the barber surgeon. He'd been having a lot of issues getting the robot into the arena, but he managed to get in there and it was driving. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, very aggressive move there by Crab Grab. Right grab, underneath grab, the barber surgeon. Crab immediate surgeon. flip. Can Barber Surgeon do? Oh, and he oh, flips yeah. Barber Surgeon back on it. Oh, oh we're trying to get it into oh, the arena crab, area. Crab, almost. Crab, grab, Stopping almost itself going out. itself. Grab, crab is not finished. Grab, crab wants to have some it fun with like the Barber Surgeon. Surgeon's moving. And that's the Barber oh, Surgeon tapping out. out. That was another win for Crab. Third fight was against Seema, which was a university student team uh, with their first robot made of wood and a brushed horizontal, which is crazy. Um, so big up for students. Three, two, one, big in. Grab Crab going straight into the front of Seema. Oh, a huge flip. Why a few things being Look at that. Up. Grab Crab trying to use the spinner of Seema against Seema. Oh, it. Oh, there we go. Seema is working upside down. This is nice to see. Fantastic. But it looks like that spinner has stopped working on Seema. Oh dear. That doesn't mean it's all over for Seema, not yet. Grab Crab oh, help me right it. Comes it. Again. Oh, but then Seema. Oh, oh, look oh, at that. Big and metal has Bits come of off. Seema everywhere. Oh, is that the. That's the spinner <laughs> that's come off. Grab Crab raising his fork in celebration. It's a happy crab. This one was the first proper test because I wasn't very well set up for horizontals. I'd won all three of my fight night fights. I felt like I'd had quite a generous draw. Um, there were a lot of scarier robots um, in the field. 3-0 and o meant that I was definitely into the round of 16 on the second day. The round of 16 onwards was single elimination, lose once and you are out. And I knew that my first draw was going to be against the pretty brutal egg beater, Oobly. This was my first real test against a very proven robot that's been on the podium quite a few times. Grab Crab has lost out to drum spinners before. But Uvli has never lost to a grabber, so maybe Grab Crab can change Robot that from is. here. Stand by. Three, two, here we go. One, begin. Oh, Grab Crab, very aggressive getting in there. Good flip Grab straight Crab out of the boat. Flipping Uvli away, but Uvli is absolutely having no oh. issue with that. The long but prongs on the front of Grab Crab. Pushing that spinner away. Oh, oh it almost well had done. Grab, grab, grab on its pincers, but grab it like no. Grab oh. crab looking for any opportunity to flip Oobly into the air, hoping that spinner will hit the arena that and send Oobly flying. Being, that wonderful grab being a good self writing mechanism. The pit is ready. But it seems. Oh! oh, oh and, totally! Oh, suplex! I think we just saw a suplex from Grab Crab! Oh my! Oh, the oh, humanity! Hey. Now, although both did go into the pit, it is who goes in first, and that was, of course, Ubly. So, that Grab robot Crab had a family! We got to show some control as well as some uh, some weapon potential, and was very happy to get Ubly down the pit. My round of eight fight was amazingly against another non spinner, the Cutted Maintenance XL, which is another Kiwi Drive bot uh, with a hammer. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Well, straight out towards each other. I think it's going to be really hard for Grab Crab to get underneath Percussive Maintenance. 
Oh no! No, it's no. impossible! What a throw! But not impossible at all. A huge throw! It looks like it's trying to use the axe to right itself, but don't know it's working. Maybe Grab Crab like says Grab. not yet. No! Grab Crab Grab doesn't Crab. care for this. It wants to fight on. <laughs> Oh, oh my! He's flipping his subject into an even more impossible position and it's back on! My <laughs> <wife's laughs> <a bit. laughs> Grab Crab just playing with percussive it's maintenance here. Enabled. Absolutely. Now, Grab Crab wants a fun fight. It really does. Oh, Grab Crab keeping the. Oh, oh yeah. there's the pit. Going down. I think the prongs of percussive maintenance just got caught very briefly in the pit wall. I think Percussive Maintenance has a slight advantage of control here, getting Grab Crab into that pit. But if Grab Crab can grab it. Oh. <laughs> Carry it in there. Oh. <laughs> grab Crab trying to get that flip again. Oh, Grab Crab looking oh, at the precarious position, gets the over. flip. But he'd had issues with the weapon belt slipping. He wasn't going to be able to self-right in this fight, but we had a load of fun anyway, and I can't wait to see the future upgrades Thomas does to this robot. Great fight. Well done. Fantastic. Great job. Great hug there. Fantastic sportsmanship. This meant I was through to the semi-finals, which is by far the best I've ever done in Beatles, against uh, a four-wheel drive vertical spinner, Bonkers. We are ready to go for our first semi-final. Stuart has been doing an amazing job with Bonkers. He'd had all sorts of issues, but he'd managed to get the robot nice and nippy for our fight. So we had a proper drive around fight. Here we go. Grab Crab straight out the gate, using that lifter. Oh, a huge throw from Grab Crab straight out the back. Looking to oh, really control that that Bonkers there. That ratatat is bonkers. It's spinner a, bounces off the arena just floor. Just not enough space between those two robots for bonkers to get that spinner into Grab Crab. Oh, there it goes. Grab Crab being flipped over. But Grab Crab goes, I can turn myself over again. A huge show from Grab Crab there. Bonkers on its roof. Can it right itself? Or will it just throw itself into the ceiling? Pit is open. Pit going down. Oh, Grab Crab will hoping that spinner will do the damage for it. Oh, and Bonkers goes into oh, the pit. It's over. Grab Crab progresses to the final. Grab well Crab done, gripped Crab, and good it. Good job, Bonkers. It grabbed and it grabbed and it threw. I was chuffed to control the fight and be able to throw Bonkers over so it bounced itself into the pit. I was now 6-0 and and going into the grand final. Incredibly, in the other semi-final, Boom Zoom had won its fight against a vertical spinner. Massive credit for Rob for getting all this way and winning all his fights too. A big round of applause for our two finalists. They've fought so well to get here. All of yesterday and most of today have been leading to this. Grab Crab, going in the red. Boom Zoom in the blue. Are we all ready? Let's make some noise for the grand final. Ooh. Here we go. Robot is stand by. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Begin. Here we go. Oh, oh huge crab, crab, fight. throwing booms them around. But both of them are absolutely fine. Grab crab looking. Oh, another massive oh. throw from Grab crab. Booms are trying to find a way in there. Another big throw. Grab Crab just flinging Boom Zoom around. Grab Crab looking Zoom's like it's like, got the most control well. here, but Boom Zoom still to, still to get in there. Tries to pack Oh. Oh. Boom Zoom almost getting out Some there. No. Wonderful acrobatics. Boom Zoom going Boom straight there. And Boom Zoom the drops the pin. going down. Pit going down. Oh, it looks like Boom Zoom has Grab Crab. Oh, oh Is Grab Crab going to be able to... Oh, oh, it oh. they're locked together. They're locked together. It looked like Boom Zoom had like the advantage, but Grab Crab has suplexed over. Amazing moves. It's edging ever closer. They're pinned together. Oh. 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 Hold on. 
I'm not what's sure what's on here. That fight was, had a little bit of an awkward end where um, the ref had finished counting the separation but had decided that he'd not called to separate yet, so the pitting counted. Um, it was a really tough call for the refs, and I do not envy them. So, so the judges, the referee, the judges okay, a little bit. Sorry for the, the quietness there. Grab the Crab is our grab, winner. Grab is our winner. While the trophy was nice, the thing I cared about was my robot doing the thing it was designed to do. I care about my robots being dynamic and fun, and um, I'm really proud that Grab Crab was doing the thing, doing some throwing and doing some eating. And I'm very excited to potentially take this motor and put it into Lobster in the future and do some cool stuff with that too. Big up Battle and the Burr crew for an incredible event. I had a really fun two days. Um, big up Rob, my hotel buddy and pit buddy. Amazing job with New York Slice. It was such a cool robot. Big shout out to Joe M for all the 3D printing you did. Check out our forum. That's a great place to see um, the insides of lots of different bots. And I'll see you in the new year with lots of new events. BBB will be back. We'll be doing loads of events across beetles, feathers and ants, so see you at one of those. Bye! Test, test, one, two, three.